morning students today i am going to continue the chapter minerals and power resources in previous video i explained you about non conventional sources of energy it is a renewable resources of energy example solar energy wind energy and tidal energy now what is solar energy the energy produced through sunlight is called solar energy what is wind energy this type of energy can be produced by controlling wind power and it is used for water pumps operating water pumps and irrigation facilities now today i will take new topic tidal energy first i will explain you what is the meaning of tides tides are the rise and fall of sea levels caused by the combined effects of the gravitational forces exerted by the moon the sun and the rotation of the earth now what is tidal energy energy generated from tides is called tidal energy which can be attached by building dams at narrow opening of the sea during high tide the energy of the tides is used to turn the turbine installed in the dam to produce electricity huge tidal mill plants are located in russia france and the gulf of kutch this tidal power of the oceanic tides is tapped to produce electricity france has successfully developed now biogas now where this biogas obtained it is obtained from plants and animal dung what is the process in this process the dead plants animals dungs are converted into gaseous fuel it is called biogas the organic waste is decomposed by microbacteria which take place in biogas digester to emit biogas this biogas is generally used in rural areas of developing countries shrubs farm waste animal and human waste are used to produce biogas for domestic consumption it is used for cooking lightning and generation of electricity so this is the uses of biogas geothermal energy geothermal what is geothermal energy geothermal energy is the heat that we get from in earth's crust geothermal wall release greenhouse gases trapped within the earth but these emissions are much lower per unit than the fossil fuels this generally involves low running costs because it saves 80% on fossil fuels there is an increase in the use of geothermal energy it also helps in reducing global warming it does not 
create any kind of pollution. Just like name, it suggests geothermal. It is generated by using the heat of the earth. It is the energy derived from hot springs, glaciers and hot rocks in the interior of the earth's surface. Now, how this energy comes out? Two holes are drilled deep in the earth and then water is pumped through one. Steams come up on the other hole. This steam is used to generate power. It is commonly used in Iceland, Italy, USA, Japan, New Zealand and Russia. Now, conservation of power resources. It is also very necessary to conserve the resources. Just like very earlier I explained you that fossil fuels are exhaustible resources. Once consumed, they cannot be replaced. So we have to use coal, petroleum in a limited amount so that future generation also use all these fossil fuels. So there are some ways to conserve power resources. That is minimizing the use of fossil fuels, save electricity by using power saving devices, focus on increased use of the renewable and alternative sources of power. Now you have to write question and answers in your fair copy. Write the advantages and disadvantages of the non-conventional sources of energy. Explain about biogas. 